We are getting very close to the official review of the new NVIDIA RTX 4000 series graphics cards. So, the information regarding specific RTX 4000 models is getting updated and more representative of the final retail version that we will be able to buy in stores this fall. This particular update comes from Copite, who has a good accuracy track record when it comes to NVIDIA leaks. And, according to them, NVIDIA has updated the RTX 4070 specifications. So, in this video, I will tell you everything we know so far about RTX 4070 specs, release date, price and, of course, performance. Also, I will compare RTX 4070 to RTX 3070 that it will be replacing and to the most powerful NVIDIA graphics card available right now, RTX 3090 Ti. Additionally, I prepared some theoretical 1440p and 4K gaming benchmark charts that we will have a look at as well. But first, an ad from a sponsor. Buy your Windows 10 or 11 key for less from cdkeyoffer.com at the link in the description below. Use code IV20 to get a 25% discount that brings the price down to as low as $16. You can securely check out with PayPal and receive your Windows key in minutes, ready to be activated on your PC. Now back to the video. The latest RTX 4070 configuration is rumored to use the full AD104 GPU manufactured on TSMC and 4 node. It means that 4070 will feature 7680 CUDA cores, which is quite a bit more than 5888 CUDA cores in RTX 3070, and a much fewer number than 10752 CUDA cores in RTX 3090 Ti. In terms of memory, 4070 gets 12 GB of 21 Gigabit per second G6X. That is just half of 3090 Ti's 24GB of 21 gigabit per second G6X, but significantly better than 8GB of 14 gigabit per second G6 memory on RTX 3070. The most notable improvement comes in the form of larger cache. RTX 4070 has 48 megabytes of it, compared to just 4 megabytes on 3070 and 6 megabytes on 3090 Ti. But that is not the only huge improvement that is coming to RTX 4000 series graphics cards. Core clock frequency has been increased by a lot as well. Copite stated that the current configuration of RTX 4070 has 2310 MHz base core clock. That is massive compared to 1500 MHz on 3070 and 1560 MHz on 3090 Ti. Boost core clock is rated for 1860 MHz on RTX 3090 Ti and 1725 MHz on 3070, while 4070 is currently set to 2610 MHz. The power consumption is not as bad as earlier leaks suggested. RTX 4070 is currently sitting at 285 watts. That is still 45 watts higher than 240 watts on 3070, but nowhere close to ludicrous 450 watts on 3090 Ti. Now that we know all the necessary specifications, we can calculate that RTX 4070 has a theoretical compute power of 40 teraflops, which is twice the performance of RTX 3070 and equal to 40 teraflops on RTX 3090 Ti. However, don't expect gaming performance to scale linearly with the teraflops data you see here. I will get to it in a minute. Before that, I want to touch on the release date and potential price of the RTX 4070. Most leakers agree that RTX 4090 will be launching in October this year, but RTX 4080 and 4070 could be delayed to November or later. There is still a lot of uncertainty around this matter. I will publish another update on it as soon as I know more. But I am pretty sure that we will see NVIDIA launch RTX 4090, 4080 and 4070 by the end of this year. The lower tier models and possibly some TI variants will follow sometime in 2023. As for the price, I don't think that NVIDIA can afford to raise it by a lot compared to the previous generation, taking into consideration the current state of the market. Right now, there is very little demand from crypto miners who made up a huge chunk of Nvidia's sales over the previous year, and many gamers are either waiting for the new RTX 4000 series cards or for the RTX 3000 prices to drop further. 
I expect to see RTX 4070 in the US stores at $500 to $600 on average when the prices normalize after the first few stock resupplies. This process usually takes 4 to 6 weeks after the product launch. Now let's talk about the gaming performance. Looking at the updated specs, I think that RTX 4070 could perform close to RTX 3090 Ti in rasterization. But it is also possible that Nvidia is aiming for RTX 3090 level of performance. Ray tracing performance should be better than 3090 Ti, but at the moment we don't know by how much. FYI, the following charts use real data for the currently available graphics cards, but the data for all yet to be released products is theoretical. For the purpose of this video, let's say that RTX 4070 will have 3090 Ti level of performance. Then it will be able to run one of the most GPU demanding games, Cyberpunk 2077, at 57 FPS average in 4K resolution using high quality preset. Not quite 60 plus FPS that most of us seek for a smooth gaming experience, but still very nice indeed. I think that this result is a good representation of how some of the upcoming next gen games will perform like in 2023 and beyond. But if you are looking to play some less demanding, competitive titles in 4K, then you may as well start planning to buy a 4K 240Hz monitor, because potentially RTX 4070 will be able to run Rainbow Six Siege on ultra quality at 230fps. The less demanding, older AAA games should run extremely well. Shadow of the Tomb Raider on the highest quality preset 108fps. Horizon Zero Dawn on ultimate quality, 99 FPS average. And Watch Dogs Legion on ultra quality at 68 FPS in 4K resolution. RTX 4070 performance in most games at 1440p resolution should be good enough to take advantage of 144Hz or higher refresh rate displays. Even the most demanding game on our list, Cyberpunk 2077, should see over 100 FPS on high quality preset. The FPS could reach over 400 in Rainbow Six Siege on Ultra at 1440p. The less demanding AAA games should be a pleasure to play. Ultra Smooth 180 FPS average in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, pretty good 151 FPS in Horizon Zero Dawn and 104 FPS average in Watch Dogs Legion on ultra quality preset. What do you think about this performance? In conclusion, I would like to say that I am pretty happy with this RTX 4070 configuration. 12 GB of memory is more reasonable than previously rumored 10 GB, and it will be huge if 4070 can match the performance of RTX 3090 Ti in games. Right now I don't have a PC, and I must admit that I am very tempted to consider RTX 4070 for my next build this year. What about you? Let's discuss it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then you know what to do. It was I, Vadim, until next time.